Hi everyone, Connor here. So a few months ago, my two polar parrots paired up and they ended up breeding and having babies. And um, when I did my last tank tour, actually two tank tours ago, um, it was when they first had bred and I had showed everyone. So I want to do an update on that now that it's about two months later and just kind of talk through the experience, what I've learned and how they're doing. And then lastly, just the future plans for continuing to breed polar parrots. So I guess I'll start off with the start here. So when they had their first batch, it was before I redid the aquascape and there wasn't as much hiding spaces, but they had their first batch. They got very aggressive towards very, the other tank mates before they had their babies. And so I very much knew that they had paired up. And then, yeah, a few weeks later, they actually had babies. They were very, very, very tiny when they had them. There was a good amount of them, I'd say at least 50. Likely could have been more, could have been even close to 80, I'd say. They're very, very tiny, just like little, little tiny specks. You had to look really, really close to the substrate to be able to see them. But anyway, they defended the babies very well. The babies, I'd say, lasted probably a week and a half, two weeks, and I kept seeing that many. Um, really didn't seem like the population was dwindling. They pretty much all stayed in one area. They're pretty much on this side. Imagine if they were all under the cave and the parents, the two parents here, were just defending them very aggressively. Now, what did happen though, maybe a week after that, so maybe three weeks in total, kind of all disappeared. And what I imagine is they probably did get eaten by the loaches. There's so many loaches in here, they're all very quick and get into little cracks. And I almost would mark it up to um, when the babies were so small, the fish almost didn't even notice them. But once they got a little bigger, um, they saw them as food. And just because there's so many loaches and they're so quick, um, especially the yo-yo loaches, they're really good and really fast and really good at getting in areas. I just don't think the two parents could defend them. Um, so eventually, yeah, I ended up from that first batch not seeing any at all in the tank. And so for the second batch, what ended up happening was I ended up redoing this aquascape first. And so I wanted to do this aquascape for a while. And then I was kind of also motivated to make just a lot of hiding spaces, a lot of caves. Two reasons since the polar parrots were a bit more aggressive towards the loaches now that they were breeding, but also just to make a bunch of hiding spaces for the babies. But anyway, what happened is very soon after I had redone this aquascape, they ended up having some more babies. And what I ended up doing was, even though they were super hard to get because they were super tiny, I was able to capture two. And I also didn't want to destroy the oxygen trying to get them. So I got two, ended up putting them in the 10 gallon and let them raise up for a few weeks just to get a little bit larger to hopefully prevent them being eaten. To the rest of the babies, the 50 plus or so, uh, basically the same thing happened as the initial batch. Oh, and by the way, if you hear that behind me, I get a little cat. This is Milo. Oh, he doesn't like camera, so he's a little shy. But anyway, so the 50 or so that were left in the tank um, basically the same thing happened. They lived for the first two weeks, were untouched, all stayed in a very tight group with the parents defending them. And then around that point, the population quickly dwindled. And so I actually thought they all got eaten again, but I was thankful that I still had the two that I put in the 10 gallon. And eventually, you know, a few more weeks went by, I thought that the ones in the 10 gallon were gonna be large enough and I didn't really feel like running the 10 gallon for too long. Um, I ended up putting them back here and I also saw that there were a few still alive in this tank from the main batch, which is cool to see. So in total, I still have those two and I have the ones that are living. Uh, you'll see as I film here, it's kind of small, it's just some closer footage as I can. But um, I'd say there's at minimum at least four baby polar parrots in here. I think definitely more, probably I'd say between four to eight in total. It's hard, it's really hard to count them all at once. I've definitely counted four um at once but i definitely think there's more but it's you know they hide so quick that it's hard to definitely 100 percent be sure you're counting different ones you know so now anyway that pretty much is just kind of a little background story of how it's gone so far now pretty much that brings us right to today and as i said there's probably between four to eight or so babies in here and they're growing there are two that are definitely larger I'll see uh, one here or there that's uh, a decent bit size larger than the other ones. And despite them having been born at the same time, they're the ones that were in the 10 gallon, because I was really able to make sure I fed them specifically. The ones that are in here were hopefully just getting scraps and eating any uh, debris or anything that was on the plants and such. 
I do think now though that they have lived, it's probably been about uh, close to two months with this whole batch, maybe a little bit less, uh, maybe a month and a half. I think that they're pretty good. I think that they would have gotten eaten if they would have, and they're just getting larger and larger every day. Um, they kind of all free roam all between this whole island structure. I'd never seen them roam outside of it, but the parents kind of let them go. The parents are kind of living their own life. They will uh, chase the loaches sometimes, but they're not really defending their babies right now. It's pretty much once they do have another uh, nest of eggs, then they'll defend those very aggressively. That's kind of what I expect to see. Now, the only fish I have bred before polar parrots were mollies, and there's definitely is a good amount of differences between breeding them. The first is just the breeding behavior of the parents. For mollies, the males will harass the females before trying to get her pregnant, and after that, neither of them will really defend the babies. Obviously, the babies are in the female, and she gives birth to live babies, hence the live bear, but besides that, once they are born, they won't really defend them. The babies will swim freely among the tank, and the parents actually will over time eat the babies, at least that's my experience. Now polar parrots are very different. First they get lay eggs and they will defend the eggs very aggressively from other fish. They'll defend that specific area and then once the babies are born, all the babies will just huddle around that one area. So it'll be one area tank will huddle around it and the parents will just continue to defend them very aggressively. And from my experience, I did not see the parents eat the babies. Um, now, yeah, the babies did get eaten, so you know, you can argue, well, what if it was the parents? Um, I guess I don't know, but I would assume it was the loaches, and the parents seemed to defend them uh, very well, and I was surprised to see how small they were in them to live even a few weeks in this tank with all these other fish. As far as the future plans, um, I definitely want to raise these up, and there's not too many, so I'm probably, since it's really the first batch I'm going to raise up, I don't really want to sell these or anything. I'm just going to kind of let them live up and have them living in this tank. Uh, if there's any big aggression problems or something, then I, you know, have to rehome specific ones, but that's kind of different. But as far as future plans, um, I am going to just let these polar parrots just kind of breed naturally in this tank. And I'd imagine that I'd get a similar kind of um, survival rate as I have now. Um, you know, maybe about five per batch or so with all the other fish in the tank. And kind of gauge it from there. I would like to actually just sell a few as I get extras because eventually, yeah, it would become overpopulated in the tank. Um, so that's kind of the plan. I also want to gauge kind of how much of a market there is, how much you know, I can sell because I know they breed so easily. They do seem pretty commonly at stores. I don't know if anyone actually will buy them or how, how many I can sell. So kind of gauge it by that. Um, if I was a good demand though, then I'd actually maybe start to put the parents in a separate tank and breed them separately. Um, but otherwise, I kind of like the dynamic of this tank, uh, of having a few survive from each batch. Um, the only thing I don't like is the polar parrots, especially when they are breeding, they can be very aggressive towards my loaches. Um, I especially don't like this towards my largest clown loach, and that's the one to get picked on the most, just because she's the largest. Um, so I have thought about actually, if they do so well, moving my polar parrots just to the 55 gallon and moving my blood parrots back into here and kind of going at it like that and just having a breeding tank for them. But uh, we'll kind of play it by ear based on how it goes. But uh, that's pretty much the update for my polar parrot breeding. I am going to document the growth of them. Although it is hard to see them now, I'm going to try my best to document the growth of them. Uh, I put out some more videos as they grow and grow up. And uh, yeah, once they are adults, I'll definitely put out an update showing um, how they're doing then. But uh, anyway, if you have any questions on uh, my experience breeding polar parrots or any questions, uh, definitely let me know. I'll be happy to answer and give you my experience. And anyway, I appreciate everyone watching. If you thought this video was helpful or just enjoyed it, likes and subscriptions are very appreciated. But anyway, I'll catch everyone next time.